All right, uh, this was sent into the channel by Banggood, and so it's here for a review. Um, it's a cute little toy. <laughs> it is an, uh, I can't pronounce their name, an N F N I R S I. I don't know if you can actually pronounce it or not. Fr frenzy? I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. Um, it is a uh, three in one oscilloscope, is what it's, what it's uh, claimed to be. It is the DSO TC3, the TC3. So, yes, it's a little oscilloscope. I'm showing it, I'm showing it right here. Uh, we will get to some some demos, but uh, yeah, you can, uh, oops, here, you can do oscilloscope stuff with it, which is super cool. Um, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, talk about the whole thing, because it does many things other than be an oscilloscope. All right, um, so let's uh, take a look at what's inside the box first. You get um, a package here that says, uh, you can download the manual and stuff like that. Uh, it gives you some uh, test leads for the uh, component checker, which is occluded. Uh, some test leads for uh, alligator clips and a USB-C for charging. It has uh, batteries in it, chargeable. Uh, instruction manual. Yep, that's about all we get here. So we'll leave those out. It also comes with an oscilloscope probe. Uh, comes with a 100 megahertz oscilloscope probe, which is overkill for this thing. So this thing is a 500 kilohertz oscilloscope. It's uh, 10 mega samples per second, uh, 5 kilohertz. So um, think of it as an audio oscilloscope, right? So this would be great for audio, audio frequencies. Now I have a lot of um, people who want to learn electronics and stuff, and they can't afford uh, oscilloscopes and stuff. Okay, I think this is around $50. And yes, you get an oscilloscope. So the point of getting an oscilloscope, yes, this isn't gonna be great, but it's gonna be good enough to learn electronics. It really, really is. It can do audio. Um, the important thing of an oscilloscope when it comes to learning electronics is learning about the shape of the waveform. What does it do over time? Okay, so this is time and this is amplitude. And different things uh, look differently. I'm showing a ramp right now, but I, but I could show a, uh, I sh could show a square wave. I could so a, uh, show a sine wave. And those are the big building blocks of learning electronics. So this would be a great little tool for that. All right. So let's uh, go through the thing kind of right from the get go. We'll turn it off here. Um, the machine has a USB-C on the bottom for charging. It has some odd connect. I don't know exactly what these connectors are there, uh, but they are for the oscilloscope probe. Uh, it acts as a signal generator, so that's the DDS, and then it acts as a voltmeter, so zero to forty volts, very very crude voltmeter. Um, so that's on that side. It has a um, a little place here for component checker. I've showed uh, component checkers before, like like this one, so that has it that has it built in. Um, so push the button and you get this cool menu. It says, what do you want to do? You want to be an oscilloscope? Do you want to be a generator? Uh, tools? You want to be a uh, component tester? Okay, so let's do the component tester thing. You say, okay, yeah, I want to do that. It's got a little flip out thing here so we can set it down. Um, let's go ahead and uh, put some unknown, an unknown thing in here. Um, unfortunately, mine came with a damaged pin too. The the socket is damaged, uh, but it can use the other ones here. It's repeated, so it's going to test this part. It's going to say, "Oh, yeah, that's a MOSFET. It's an NMOS, uh, you know," and it gives you all the parameters and stuff. So it's a normal it's a normal component checker tool, right? So it's great. It'll do you know all kinds of stuff. We could pop a uh, let's see here. I've got a I've got a LED here. You could just pop an LED in it and see what happens. It's kind of hard to get it in there. There we go. You can see it flash there when it was touching. So that's the diode. It's 1.76 uh, forward voltage. Um, all right. So it does all the normal component tester stuff. We can back up. Uh, we'll get to the oscilloscope. It's a generator. Um, 
you can generate sine, square, pulse, triangle, ramps, and things. I think it goes up to 100 kilohertz, I believe, the, uh, the generator. Um, let's see here. Yeah, 100 kilohertz. Okay, so cool little generator. That's fun. Um, tools. Uh, it'll test certain things. It'll test voltage, like on the connector here. You can use uh, you can use this tool uh, to plug in the top to allow you to test voltages. Uh, it'll test certain components uh, that are specific, like uh, uh, type of temperature sensors and humidity sensors and things like that. I found this useful. Uh, this is an IR decode, um, and it has an IR port here on the side. So if you take an IR thing and you and you shine it in the side, it'll tell you the code that you're that you're sending. So that's super cool. I like that a lot. So it's got that built in. All right, let's uh, go back out. Uh, now I know everybody wants to see the oscilloscope, so let's uh, let's talk about the oscilloscope. All right, so here we go. So we have to hook it up. Now, the, uh, it, it comes with a, a normal oscillos oscilloscope probe, uh, and it comes with a normal little, uh, little bag with everything in it. Um, but it comes with one, one thing extra, which is, uh, which is this thing. It's that funny connector to BNC. So you need to install that and then you can um, plug this in. Now, I was a little bit worried this would be too fragile. I'd be always worried about breaking this thing, but it actually seems pretty stout. Um, so it's not too bad. I mean, you, gotta, you do have to be careful with it, right? You do have to be careful, but um, you could lay it down flat if you're real nervous. But for pho photographing here, it's better if I, tilt, if I tilt it up. So so there we go. And yeah, we're looking at a, a signal uh, coming out of a generator that I have on the bench here. Now, if you want to auto, uh, look at something, you push the button and it does auto, and then it tries to find the right uh, voltage and the right, the right time base to look at your thing. It also gives you a whole bunch of things like VMAX, VMIN, RMS, peak to peak, duty cycle, all that other kind of stuff on there. If you don't like that, just push the hold, hold the hold button down here and see. There we go, you can get rid of that and just see the screen. Um, it's pretty nice. And then you can go into the normal uh, you can change it up, change the uh, horizontal, I mean the uh, vertical um, per division. It, it's it's uh, maximum sensitivity is 100 millivolts and goes up to 100 volts per division. Wow. I don't know if I want to put 100 volts to this thing. Uh, times, times 10 or times 1 probe. I'm using a times 10 probe. Uh, you can change the uh, change the horizontal. Uh, you can do AC or DC, uh, and then you can do run, or you can do stop, uh, and you do that with this button here. You hold it down, and now we've captured this waveform. Even if I disconnect the probe, it'll still be there. Um, go back to run. Yeah, it has positive triggering, negative triggering. Uh, let's see here what we can do. Negative triggering, positive triggering. Um, yeah, very nice. Let's see what else. What else? What else? What else? Uh, we can put in some strange waveforms here. Let's see. Let's go for a. Uh, here's it. Here's that. Let's see if we, see if we can auto tune that. Usually they have problems with these types of things. Yeah, they kind of had problems here. So, uh, but we can dial it in ourselves. Uh, let's see here. We'll go back up, and we can change the. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, it's having a little bit of hard time uh, synchronizing on the. Uh, there's no adjustment for the trigger that I found. I can't. I don't know how to move the trigger up and down. But we can just we can just halt it, and there we go. We have a nice uh, a nice display of uh, of uh, EKG. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Um, so I mean, for fifty bucks, I mean, come on, <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, I really think this is a great little tool. I mean, I can imagine teaching a class on electronics and every student gets one of these, right? Um, maybe one of these and, and a real DVM. I mean, this is not going to be a great DVM, but you know, you can get really nice DVMs for $20, $30 and you can get this for 50 bucks. And those two together 
I could teach you a whole electronic class that could get people quite a ways down the road. Um, so yeah, it's, it's not bad. Now, a lot of people are going to think, oh, you really, I need a hundred megahertz scope. I, I, you know, I need a, I need a gigahertz scope. You no, know, to learn electronics, everything you learn at low frequency, is going to look exactly the same at high frequency. And so you can learn at the low frequency. Don't be embarrassed to say, oh, my scope only goes to 500 kilohertz. You've got a scope. <laughs> you can learn. Uh, so yeah, I think it would be, I think it would be great for that. So anyway, uh, that's a review. Um, I'm not going to test everything, but I think you get the idea here. Uh, this is a um, DSO-TC3. Uh, links down below if you want to buy this thing. Uh, yeah, I recommend it.